Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here along with David Mueller, who is the uh, product manager for all things hole making here That's at right. Klein. So what sort of products do you have in the hole making division? Well, we've had a pretty broad line of hole making products from carbide cutters to knockout punches to hole saws, step bits, auger bits, you name it, we've had a pretty broad line. Okay, if you want to put a hole in something, Klein's got you covered. That's right. Okay, so we have some new developments to talk about here. Let's start out with this guy, the step bit. Yeah, well, we've updated a couple of uh, categories of our hole making area. One of them is the step bits. Mm -hmm. And what we've done with step bits is we've come out with a two flute cutting design, which is a fast, a fast cutting design. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also done a new step ring type process. So it's easier to see when you're drilling in your piece. You can just see the depth that you're going for. That is so smart because the uh, the silver ones are evident no matter what speed this is spinning at, and these are going to be at the uh, the most common depths. Okay, and as I hold on to this, I feel uh, this is a hexagonal in shape right here, right, when you're seating the bit, because you want to have good grab, because when it's cutting through stuff, it's going to get kind of wobbly if it's circular, but this gives plenty of... Uh, chuck biting ability right here. Right, it's all about the grip in your drill and a hex shape longer shaft is the best style available so it won't spin out in your bit like a rounded shaft might from other competitors. Now you guys at Klein have done something with this. You've made it a little more affordable for the end user. Step bits are very expensive. They could be upwards of $60 for an end user mm -hmm. and we've made these about 20-25% lower than the competition. That's awesome. All right, now we're talking about bigger holes. Hole saws, bimetal yes. hole saws. Yeah. Yeah, these are products that can cut in many different materials, steel, stainless steel, wood, laminates, plastic, you name it, mm -hmm. uh, ceiling tile, and so forth. Yeah. But our users are focused on steel primarily for electrical needs, so we at least optimized our tooth pattern for cutting in steel and, and primarily stainless. Right, now these are some pretty aggressive teeth, but they are designed to do what specifically besides cutting? The benefit of that, let's say you're drilling in wood and it's very sticky, very sappy sawdust, the more that gums up around your teeth, if you don't have the tip of the teeth still cutting through that, you're gonna start burning in your hole and uh, causing smoke to come up, all that. A big issue with electricians, is if, if I'm doing 50 holes, I wanna make sure that my first cut to my last cut is very consistent. Mm -hmm. And many a com competition might double your cut time when you get to that point. So right. it's something that we focused on to keep it consistent. And then what really takes a lot of time is to get the material out many times because you gotta stick your screwdriver in and pop it, step it along. So let's right. talk about the design of the holes here. What we chose is, you want these little leverage points for your screwdriver. We chose the closest um, between these of our competition. And what, what makes it easier is when you s swipe at it with your screwdriver, you can clear the next point and out within like two moves, whereas some of the competition might take you several attempts with the screwdriver to get it out. Yeah, and because you have different size hole saws, you also have to consider buying these to go with them, right? Right, those are the arbors. You generally have a smaller threaded arbor for the very tiniest hole saws because you don't have a lot of room. Mm -hmm. And then you have the larger one for the, the bigger diameters. Uh, one of the things that we did, Barnaby, on this, on this launch is we included one of these arbor adapters with our small arbor. If you just have a few of the smallest hole saws, you can just buy one arbor from us and mm -hmm. have a solution for all of them as opposed to having to buy two. And now it's on to the wood boring bit right here. It's got a good versatility to it, and I guess because of its uh, shape and design, it acts a little more user friendly for the end user as well. Yeah, we designed this to uh, replace standard auger bits. Like this um, bad boy right here. Right. For drilling in wood, standard auger bits, the biggest problem with them is they have high torque to them, so it causes more wrist fatigue. You can, you can hurt your wrists using these, and you can actually injure yourself. Mm -hmm. um, the other aspect about them is they drill fast and they drill straight, so you can't really customize your shape or your hole very easily. And when you're using a wood, uh, our wood boring bit here, the compact head shape allows you to customize that hole a bit. If, you're, if your conduit is going up through the hole and you're making a little bit of a bend and you can't have a straight hole, that's a benefit to you. Yeah, and because it's uh, less long and it's, uh, you know just boring through with these super sharp cutting edges right here, less vibration, probably less wrist fatigue, because, I mean, that is tough on the wrist when you're drilling holes through wood. It is. Um, so it's really all about that compact head design. Mm -hmm. Another aspect, Barnaby, that's nice about this is 
they always like to keep a fresh, sharp edge on it. Mm -hmm. So these, these are nice flats that you can easily sharpen with a file. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, these pilot screws tend to break over time. Oh, yeah. And many, on like an auger bit and other pieces. If you break this pilot screw on this auger bit, one and done. You're done. Yep. On this one, these heads actually turn, uh, turn off of this pilot screw shaft, so we sell this separately as a replacement, so you can always have a fresh uh, tool in case your pilot bit does break. Okay. Any cost savings involved with this guy? The size alone is about half the cost of a standard auger bit. Okay. And then you also have, I think, the greater benefit, and that is less risk fatigue and less danger of twisting yourself up as happens with the longer bit. Man, it's all good stuff all the time here from Klein, and you want to be part of this informational stream, doubtless. You're watching this video for that purpose, but hey, like us on Facebook. Also, you can text 37527. That'll put you in the informational stream. You can do YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Man, we're everywhere, right? Everywhere. Also, Tradesman's Club. That's a good way to maybe get in line for some free stuff that we give out every once in a while. So hey, all good all the time from Klein. Thanks for all the good work you do, man. All right, thanks. All right.